For following major developments in regards to the situation in Afghanistan, President Joe Biden plans to send 5,000 troops to the country. Those troops are going in to help with the continued drawdown of U.S. forces in the region. The Taliban is rapidly gaining control in the area. I spoke with a former United Nations ambassador about the implications of the unrest in the country with the Taliban making offenses on Afghani government. President Biden is increasing the amount of U.S. troops headed into Afghanistan as conditions continue to deteriorate, with Taliban forces mounting offensives looking to take control of the country. I spoke with Nancy Soderberg by phone. She's a former United Nations ambassador who now is director of the Public Service Leadership Program at the University of North Florida. I mean, it's just an unmitigated disaster happening faster than than anyone thought. Uh, the experts thought it might take several years for this to happen. The idea that it's happened this quickly is uh, just a, a disaster for the people of Afghanistan. A concern now becomes whether the Taliban continues to take control in Afghanistan and whether or not terrorism can begin to become an issue again in the country. The red line for the administration, both President Trump's and President Biden's in negotiating with the Taliban is that there will be no return of terrorists to the region, which would trigger a return of uh, international forces. And I think that red line will not be crossed right away. Soderbergh says the bigger question in the country will be what happens to women and girls who she fears will be terrorized. And she's not sure whether the international community will still be able to protect them. Many people are fleeing the country right now, and it appears the only city where you can do that is in the nation's capital of Kabul. And those flights are becoming harder to find.